a great feeling to obviously represent Team GB. I've always, always loved to, to race for the country and um, yeah, it was uh, obviously we had a great meeting in, in Manchester um, with Speedway Nations and got through to the final. So um, yeah, we've got um, I think a lot of chance, a uh, good hope to, to do well in Russia so um, no, I look forward to, to get over. Um, so what's it like riding with Kyle? Um, yeah, it's uh, obviously great you know, to be out, out there with him and, and him being part of the team, so um, no, it's all always great, and he gives some gives some positive uh, energy and feedback, you know. So no, it's, it's great to be, be racing with, with him. Um, so your first reserve in the Grand Prix this year. So does that mean you can go into the meetings more relaxed, or do you still feel pressure to perform? Um, yeah, I mean, like obviously, there's always going to be that pressure because um, it depends if I do a fair few, a fair few meetings then. Um, then I can get into the top eight and qualify for the next year. So um, I need to obviously do the best I can all the time. And um, yeah, but at the same time, I'm pretty relaxed going into it. As, um, obviously, I'm just there as, as reserve. And, and um, yeah, but at the same time, I want to do well. So. Um, so how do you prepare for meetings like the Grand Prix and the World Under 21 Championships? Um, pretty much the same as every other meeting. I try to keep things pretty basic and, and standard um, because I think if you over overthink things and, and complicate it, then um, then it starts to go wrong. So if, if you just keep rock up like it's a normal meeting, then uh, everything goes well. So you're riding in many different leagues and competitions this year. Um, how challenging is it? To, how challenging is it to do that? Um, yeah, it's obviously very challenging. I mean, I've been doing it for a few years now, so I, I sort of know my way about. Um, you know, with flying and stuff like that. As long as you get it organised um, in the right way. Um, catch your sleep where you can, you, you, um, you can get it sorted, so no, it's, it's obviously uh, tough, but at the same time it's, it's great to be travelling around and racing in all these different countries. Coming home, I've, it's a bit more than a few years uh, since I was here last time. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's nice to be back. And I hinted straight away when I heard the rumor that were coming up that that would be nice to be back in this track because I've never made any secrets to over the, the fact that I love riding this track and it's one of the best, if not the best, in, in England. So yeah, yeah, I'm chuffed to be here. So how's the track changed since you were last here? Well, it's a lot faster, as you can see, time-wise, but. Um, I think the last meeting showed um, sort of a bit of the old track because there was plenty of overtaking and a lot of racing so hopefully we can build on that. What's it like being the team captain and what uh, responsibilities is this entail? Uh, it's been pretty natural for me because I've never, never been a sort of rider who just sits in my corner and do my thing. I've always been running up and down chatting to the boys and and you know, making sure everyone's happy and having a bit of a giggle. So it's it seems pretty natural to me to be a cat, and, and you know, you just got to make sure everyone's right. Well, um, so it was good to see you back on form at last meeting, and um, there was news about like your bikes not being quite right. So have these mechanical issues been resolved? Yeah, I think so. I didn't I didn't break down on the last meeting, so hopefully I won't be breaking out anymore this season. And like you said, it's very frustrating for me because I've. In the past, or well, nearly through the whole of my career, I haven't had many breakdowns, and I knew for the fact that it wasn't me because I, I think I've prepared, probably more prepared than I've ever been, like fitness-wise, and so 
So like I said, it was very disappointing to not be scoring a point through spike issues, but it, it seems okay and uh, I'm pretty happy with it right now. Um, so, final question, what are your future ambitions in Speedway? Oh, it's hard to tell really, I just want to go out and enjoy it as much as I can and hopefully that will bring a lot of points with it.